this time on the Robbie and Dad Show, we're going to be exploring the cheapest Model Y in the country. Hi, and welcome back to the Robbie and Dad Show. He's Robbie. He's Dad. So today we're going to talk about why I got such a good price on the Model Y. But uh, I think it's important to, uh, to to compare it to what's going on now with the prices. Because the prices have been going crazy, Robbie. So the first slide we're going to look at is uh, before March 15th, 2022, Robbie. So you'll notice that the car was 87590 So there's a lot of things that uh, have to come in. There's like the shipping and the prep, tire fee, air conditioning fee, and then there's tax on that. Okay? Air conditioning fee? There's an air conditioning fee. Uh, and it's going to be different for every state. First of all, i got to say that we're Canadian. So... There's going to be different taxes to this. The prices already look high to Americans. They're probably sticker shocked uh, looking at this. So, um, so in the end, when it says eighty-seven thousand five hundred ninety, it's a hundred and two thousand two hundred seventy-two dollars fifty-six cents. Okay. So this was March fifteenth, which which was uh, uh, you know uh, um, like a couple months ago. So that's the price uh, uh, of it then, and uh, and then I got contacted by Tesla. So this was the price. Uh, when I got contacted that I was getting my car and so when I looked at the price I thought oh that's great all right so the next one is March 15th to May 5th to May 5th May 5th was yesterday so there was a price increase and I'm not going to tell you what it is yet so between that time the price jumped to 93,590 the full self-drive is still 10,600 all these prices all include full self-drive um, because I want to compare apples to apples because I got the cheapest Tesla possible with the full self-drive because I wanted full self-drive. So 90, with the full self-drive, 93590 and then the price goes up $109,498.74. Okay, so while I got the car, that was the price. And so I've had the car for just a little over a week. Yeah. And the price went up again yesterday. You want to see what the price is now? The price now is 96,790 with tax in it's 112,884 dollars and 75 cents that's crazy yeah. like already with uh, the these so we've seen three price increases since i locked in my car um and it, i i'd have sticker shock i i actually have doubts whether i should buy a car over a hundred thousand dollars i was dreamed about spending that much money on a car but it was not a suv it was a lamborghini <laughs> You know, so, you know, luckily I, I, I got, uh, luckily I got a good price for, uh, you know, for a, a really nice car. Well, good price. Yeah. It's all relative, right? It's relative to this. Exactly. So here's, uh, so here's the price that I paid. I paid all in $90,000, no. $924.11. That's because a self, full self drive way back then was 6600 and the car was 71000 and then there's the delivery fee, the tax fee. There's your federal air conditioner tax, which is, uh, that yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is a hundred bucks. And then you got the tire fee. There's a tire fee there's as a tire well? Fee. I don't, yeah. The next thing you're going to have a seat fee. I don't know. Like, it doesn't those. matter. That would be a whole other video. So the thing is, is that that's the, the difference between the price that I paid and the other price. So we're talking close to $25,000 difference. But here's the catch. I waited three years and 12 days for my car, okay? So there's a big lesson to be said there. I mean, uh, so the idea is to lock in. We've never seen this before where there's so much demand for, for any car, okay? Yeah. I never had uh, the entire fleet of cars like almost a year out, right? Yeah. Uh, and some of them were more than a year. Um, and so, uh, you know, good things come to people who wait. And that's what I think happened to me. Uh, I locked in my price a long time ago, and uh, not only that, but a whole other video needs to be done between you and I of how what a great deal I got because my car is better than a Tesla from two years ago because they, they I, I reserved three years ago, yeah. but they started shipping two years ago, so we'll do, we'll do that because I, there's a lot of things on this car that I was shocked that I got, okay. So that's the big uh, so that's it so that's what the that's how much I paid now. In the future, going forward, there's a Cybertruck. So the Cybertruck, here's the difference between the Americans and Canadians, okay? So Americans were able to uh, lock in a price with a configuration. Uh, and they put, uh, they they paid $100 for that. Canadians paid $150. The, the, and the difference is, is that Canadians never got to configure their truck. 
I've always been waiting for the price to see what the Canadian prices were because the Y I was able to. So that means that I can't, I couldn't lock in a price when I did it. So this thing about waiting a long time and then getting a good price years later, like we did with the Y, is not going to happen with the Cybertruck because Tesla can do anything they want. So, true. okay, so, and you know, true. they're in, and as a stockholder, I kind of like that, but as a, as a Tesla like owner, that. well, yeah, because it, it's, it's good for the bottom margin. Cause so what happens is that they sell the cars at a premium price. The prices are going up, not because they're more expensive to make. The prices are going up because, uh, because the, the, uh, it's, a, it's called automotive, automotive margins. They're, they're very high. So they make, uh, right now they're at 32%. So they make 32%, um, uh, profit on every car that they make right that the average uh so to give you an example 10 percent would be very good for any for any car and the reason they do that is because they can't keep them on the lot yeah. right remember when we went to laval and there was hundreds of cars and then so that keeps happening so with the cyber truck um we can't lock it in so what happens is the day that we can start configure we're going to see the prices probably up really high and full self-drive Okay, so full self-drive went up on that last increase that I showed you on the last Y from 10,600 to 12,000 something. And uh, that tells us something. That tells us that that um, full self-drive is very close, I think. Because I mean, why would you make it more expensive? Because people already don't want to buy it. And some people think it's a terrible investment. I bought it because I think it is, uh, you know. Uh, well, Robbie, if, imagine if you would have bought a Tesla a long time ago and it's like, you know, it's getting uh, old and uh, full self-drive still hasn't come out yet. Those are people who are, tend to be kind of upset, you know? Yeah. But Elon Musk said that he'd be shocked if it didn't come out uh, this year. So I'm hopeful and I'm hoping that that's why the uh, the price of full self-drive is going up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's it, Robbie. What are your, what are your thoughts? Yeah. It's an expensive car, right? Yeah. But I mean, it's because it's it, everybody wants it so they can, they can increase the price. All right. Other than that, uh, that's it for us from now. I think the next uh, uh, video on Tesla is probably going to be uh, all the, the new things that uh, that they've come out with. Until next time, he's Robbie. He's Dad. We want to know if it's actually the cheapest Model Y in the country. Comment down below. Bye for now from the Robbie and Dad Show. If you like our videos, please consider subscribing or at least leaving a like. It really helps us out. Oh, and also, go ahead and check out our Tesla playlist.